And now we have back. to talk to the scientist, former scientist, who has gone into fabulous glassware, April. April Zilber. I got bit by the glass bug in high school. I took a stained glass class, mm -hmm. and that just lived in the back of my mind all the way through college and graduate school. And the carrot to get myself through graduate school in plant biology was that when I finished, I could take a year off and do glass art. Well, that year yes. turned into <laughs> 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. So um, here I am today. You can see from my work that the biology background is, is really very present. I'm interested in cellular structures. I'm interested in plant morphology. I'm interested in algae, um, trees, and I'm really into my garden. So all of it kind of comes together. I love the way light interacts with glass, either transmitting through a transparent material or reflecting off a surface and how different pieces can look at different times of day. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I work with. Glass is so exciting, isn't it? It really is. It really is, because it changes all the time. I mean, you know, because of the light. Could you kind of tell us how you do that? These are fused glass panels, and the technique I've been working with for many years now is to take a thin sheet of metal to draw my design on it with a pencil, and then to cut it out um, remove the material that I don't want, and then I sandwich the metal between two layers of glass. I put it on a kiln shelf in my monster kiln, and I fuse it at 1550 degrees Fahrenheit, and I take a look at it and see when I think it's done, and it's uh, computer controlled. Oh, so yes. I take notes. There's, there's aspects of my science training that have carried forward into my studio work. In a way, it's very similar. You have to be self-disciplined, self-motivated, and uh, keep track of what you've tried so that you know what worked and what didn't. Mm 